Hi there, my name is Mary, and I'm coming to you from the children's room at the Portland Public Library in Portland, Maine. And I'm here to read with you tonight. And today we're gonna to read another King and Kayla story. This is King and Kayla and the case of found Fred. The book was written by Dory Hillstad Butler and illustrated by Nancy Myers. It was published by Peachtree Publishers in 2019. Chapter One, Grandma's House. Hello, my name is King. I'm a dog. This is Kayla. She's my human. Kayla and I are on vacation at Grandma's house. I love Grandma's house. It's my favorite place. Look, King, Kayla calls. I've got the ball. Kayla throws the ball into the lake. Splash! Got it! I got the ball. I swim, swim, swim to shore. I shake myself off and bring Kayla the ball. Sniff, sniff. I smell someone, someone I've never smelled before. Look, it's a new friend. Hello, I say, I'm King. What's your name? Fred, he says. Fred smells like smoke and hamburgers. I love hamburgers. They're my favorite food. Kayla comes over. Well, hello, she says to Fred. What's your name? Fred backs away. Don't be scared, I tell Fred. This is Kayla. She's my human. Kayla feels Fred's neck. You don't have a collar, she says. Came off when I ran under a fence, Fred says. Kayla doesn't understand. Do you have people, I ask? Yes but I lost them during the big booms, Fred says. That was five or one nights ago, I say. That was a scary night. I know, Fred says. Don't worry, I say. Kayla and I are detectives. We can help you find your people. Chapter two, Fred is not a stray. You smell smoky, Kayla tells Fred. That's because my people had a bonfire, Fred says. Kayla doesn't understand a word, Fred says. Do you know whose dog this is? She asks Grandma. No, Grandma says. Maybe he's a stray. I'm not a stray, Fred says. He paws at Kayla's lap. Do you want to shake hands, she asks. Okay, Fred says. He lifts a paw. Kayla shakes it. What else can you do, Kayla asks. Can you sit? Fred and I both sit. Down, Kayla says. Fred and I both lie down. This dog isn't a stray, Kayla tells Grandma. He can shake hands, sit, and lie down. You're a good detective, honey, Grandma says. Thank you, Kayla says. King's a detective, too. We'll solve this case. We'll find this dog's family. How? Grandma asks. 
we can start by talking to your neighbors, Caleb says. We visit all the houses on Grandma's dirt road. Have you seen this dog before? Kayla asks the people at each house. Do you know who he belongs to? No one does. We go back to Grandma's house. Let's make some posters, Kayla says. Fred and I help. Found small white dog, very friendly. Kayla and Grandma stapled the posters to mailboxes, fence posts, and trees. I hope your family sees these posters and calls us, Kayla says to Fred. Me too, Fred says. Chapter 3. Fred's Clue. Nine or three Days go by. No one calls about Fred. We need a clue, Kayla says. A clue would help us find this dog's family. Do you have any clues? I ask Fred. No, he says. But sometimes you can have a clue and not even know it. Is your house by the lake or by the road? I asked Fred. Neither, says Fred. It's in a big building. Hmm. There aren't any big buildings around here, I say. I know, says Fred. We live far, far away. We're here on vacation. We're staying at a campground. You're staying at a campground, I say? That's a clue. Kayla grabs a notebook and pencil. Let's make a list of everything we know about this case, she says. One, this dog doesn't have a collar or any tag. Two, he can sit, lie down, and shake hands. Three, no one on Grandma's dirt road knows who he is. If I could write, I would add this to Kayla's list of things we know. Fred's family is staying at a campground. Now, let's make a list of what we don't know about the case, Kayla says. One. Where did this dog come from? Two, where is his family? Three, how did he get here? If I could write, I would add this to Kayla's list of things we don't know. Where is the campground? Now, we need a plan, Caleb says, and I have a plan. Find the campground. Chapter four, boat ride. Do you know where the campground is? I asked Grandma. Can you take us to the grant campground? King, Caleb cries, paws on the floor. I whisper in Kayla's ear, campground, campground, campground. Do you need to go outside, she asks. Yes, I say. Campgrounds are outside. Our campground is by the lake, Fred says. Is that a clue? Yes, I say. But this is a big lake. How do we find a campground on a big lake. Grandma, Kayla says, look at all the people on the lake. Maybe one of them knows this little dog. Well, let's take a boat ride, 
and see what we can find out, Grandma says. Oh, boy, I love boat rides. They're my favorite thing. We all get in the boat. Zoom! Grandma drives us around to the back. Hello, excuse me, Kayla shouts to a fisherman. Do you know this dog? We're trying to find his family. Nope, sorry, the fisherman calls back. All of a sudden, Fred yells, There's our campground! He climbs on the edge of the boat, and splash, Fred jumps in the lake. Wait for me, I yell. Splash, I jump in the lake, too. King, little dog, no, Kayla yells. Let's go find my people, Fred says. Chapter 5. Where is Fred's family? Fred and I swim and swim until our paws touch the sand. Doggy, a small boy points. Do you see your people? I ask Fred. No, Fred says, but I smell them. What do they smell like, I ask. They smell like my people, Fred says. Fred follows a scent. I follow Fred. We go to the beach, across the grass, and over to a tent. Mom! Dad! Max! I'm back! Fred paws at the tent. A boy crawls out. <gasps> Fred! He cries. A man and lady come out, too. They hug and kiss Fred all over. Thanks for helping me find my people, Fred says. You're welcome, I say. But now I'm afraid I've lost my people. Where are Kayla and Grandma? I hear a voice. King, where are you, King? It's Kayla. Right here, I call back. I follow Kayla's Kayla and Grandma are on the dock. I run to them. There you are, King, Kayla says. I can't believe you jumped in the lake. Sorry, I say. It looks like that little dog found his family, Grandma says. And... I found you and Kayla, I say. I love Kayla and Grandma. They're my favorite thing. The end. And this story has been King and Kayla and the case of Found Fred. It was written by Dory Hillstad Butler and illustrated by Nancy Myers. It was published by Peachtree Publishers in 2019. Well, if you've enjoyed the King and Kayla book, come to the library and you could find some others and plenty of other mysteries, books about dogs and books about cats and all kinds of other things. So we hope to see you uh, soon, but for now, we have to share our stories this way. But you can borrow books by going to our website and putting books on hold. So the, I, my name is Mary, and I'm coming to you from the Portland Public Library in Portland, Maine. And I hope you've enjoyed King and Kayla and until next time, bye-bye.